Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Eli Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, September 19th, 2024. Let's transition to Giselle to learn about Hispanic figure. Thank you, Laya. Hola, Patriots. Today in Hispanic Heritage, we will be highlighting Roberto Clemente. Roberto Clemente was a baseball player born in 1934. He joined the Amateur Baseball League when he was 16 and made the Professional League two years later at the age of 18. Did you know that he won four batting titles, 12 gold gloves, two World Series, and a National League MVP award? He impacted the Hispanic culture because he was the first Latin American baseball star in America. Wow, I wish I could be the first to something too. Now let's go to Zarmel. Thank you, Giselle. Hey, Patriots, today's tasting lunch is cheeseburger, vegetarian hummus wrap, tater tots, baby carrots, garden side salad, ranch dressing, sliced peaches, and your cheese and milk. And tomorrow breakfast is truffle berry muffin, honey nut Cheerios, string cheese, fresh oranges, and 100% apple juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time until I let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's head back with Elia. Thank you, Zarmel. That sounds enjoyable. Patriots, be sure to spit out any gum that you have before entering the building. Let's keep our environment clean. Oh, and phones. Make sure they are turned off and in your bags at all times and wear only a school jacket or a sweater. K-4 through will have waffles and dress down if they do 25 Imagine Math and 25 Core 5 lessons. And 5th through 8th will have a Sunday party with dress down in return for 25 Imagine Math and iReady Reading. Make sure to do your challenge for these rewards. Also, the top three users will also enjoy it. Great news, sports fans! This child's for girls basketball. Trials will be on the 1st of October. It will be for 5th through 8th graders. In order to try out, you must have a completed sports packet and a pair of athletic shoes and a 2.5 GPA or higher. It will be in the gym from 345 through 530. Make sure you practice. Even more exciting news, sports fans. Also, on October 1st, we will be having tryouts for boys soccer. Just like all the other sports, you will need a completed sports packet, some athletic shoes, and a 2.5 GPA or higher. I wish you luck and don't forget to practice. Today, 7th and 8th graders will be officially having their FAST test, and K-2 will be taking their MAP fluency test. The test will go on from today till the 27th. We wish you luck. More testing is coming up. Do your best. Now let's read our weather reports with Camilo. Thank you, Elia. Hey there, Patriots. Today's weather is 88 degrees an hour with heavy thunderstorms. Make sure to pack an umbrella. In other weather news, watch as a powerful typhoon unleashes into Shanghai, knocking over a big rig. A typhoon is a giant storm with high winds and rain that brings disruption in its path. Here in America, they're called hurricanes. The typhoon is called Babinka, and it's the strongest storm that has hit Shanghai since 1949. Thanks to the typhoon's high winds, semi-trailers were tumbled over in the middle of highways. Remember kids, when a typhoon is coming, make sure to stay indoors safe. Now switch our patience happy birthday with Catherine. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are Juan Amatola, Melania Ortiz, and Gabriela Mendoza. Happy birthday! Now let's view some interviews with Jasmine on Patreon on the Go. Hey Patriots, welcome back to Patreon on the Go. I'm Jasmine Smith, and today's question is, if you had four arms, what would you do? Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name is Tristan. If you had four arms, what would you do? Um, I'll eat four things at a time. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thank you for your answer. Bye. Bye. Hello, what's your name? Mia. If you had four arms, what would you do? I'd use my advantage to like clean or multitask. That's actually a really punctual answer. Thank you for your answer. Hi. Hello, what's your name? Abigail. If you had four arms, what would you do? I would multitask, like do lip gloss and do my hair. I'll probably do that too. Thank you for your answer. Bye. Bye. Hello, what's your name? Mackenzie. If you had four arms, what would you do? I would play two instruments at once. That's actually a really good answer. Thank you. Bye. Hello, what's your name? Alicia. If you had four arms, what would you do? Do more homework. <laughs> Thank you for your answer. That's very good. Thank you for your amazing answers, Patriots. See you next time on Patreon on the go. Thanks, Jasmine, and great responses, Patriots.
Patriot to your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Sands, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Arnold, and Ms. Silvera for getting the correct answers to the daily challenge, which was, what are baby rabbits called? The correct answer was kits. Today's daily challenge is... Daily Challenge! How many moons does Neptune have? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a therapeutic Thursday. Have a great day!